This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. Let's actually start creating your website. So the first step is deciding on your purpose. So I've already filled this out because I wanted to save some time for you in this video. But it's really important when you're going to create a website that you know why you're creating it before you start creating it. What I see a lot of people do is they just like to start building their website. So they jump into the builder without having a clear focus on why they're building the site and also what they want that site to accomplish. So here, my general answer to this question is, I'm creating this website because I want to have a place for people to see me as a credible expert. In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to build a personal branding website, and that's what I want to accomplish here, credibility. And I also want to post all my favorite tools and systems for people to explore using affiliate links. So the next question you want to ask yourself is, what is your conversion goal? This is a second big mistake that I see a lot of people make when they're creating a new website. You don't just want to have a website that's pretty that doesn't motivate people to take an action. So I learned this from direct response copywriting. The idea is everything you put out should have some kind of goal. What would be the ideal thing to happen to your visitor when they visit your website? You don't want them to just read your page and leave, right? So for example, Usually what a big conversion goal is for any website is joining your email list. And I'm sure you've heard that countless times. The email list is the most valuable part of your online business. And for that reason, on your website, you might want to say, I want to collect as many emails as possible. And for me, that's my number one priority. My second priority here is to click on my affiliate links. And this may be true for your website, it may not be true. And the third is to establish credibility. And notice how the very actionable item of joining the email list is my number one priority. And even though establishing credibility is important to me, it's not something I can measure and it's not as important as growing my email list, which is why it's a lower priority. So you're gonna to wanna to take as much time as you need to decide on your purpose for your website. And next up is step number two, which is finding inspiration. So nothing is really original. Everything is built on what people have built before. So what I encourage you to do is to look up the websites that you really like and go take a look at them. So for example, these four websites are websites that I really like the look of them and I wanted to copy some of their ideas for my own website. So let's just take a look at some of these. And then I'll tell you why I like them. So most of these websites here are personal branding websites. They're all focused around a single person who's the icon of the business. So for example, here, Ramit is the face of I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And I just like how clean this website is. And it also establishes his credibility. There's not a lot of unnecessary copy and that's it. And there's a clear call to action to start his quiz where I'm sure he's gonna ask you for an email address. Melissa Griffin is also a very simple website. There's not a lot here. And it's minimal, which is something that I really enjoy and you might enjoy as well. Same with this personal excellence website. And then finally with this wild audience. And then I want you to ask yourself, what do you like about these websites? What is the thing that you wanna keep in mind about these websites that you can bring to your own website? And what I found I really enjoyed about them was these were minimalist sites there was not a lot of stuff there to distract the viewer. There were strong call to actions, whether it was to enter your email address or to sign up for a quiz. And most of them had a really strong personal brand. And that was represented by a huge face of the person. It's called a hero image on all three of these sites. 
at the top. And this was the only one that didn't have that. But I like this site for a different reason because of how they set up their affiliate links. It's very clean and simple. So take as much time as you need to do some Google searching, look up your favorite people, maybe it's smart passive income or whatever it is, and make a note of the websites that you really like and more importantly, what you liked about them.